part two of the spring version of 2021 Big Red Barn is this phenomenal loving cup. It's three handles, has a petticoat solid base that's cut with a hobstar. The main motif of the design is a flash Florence hobstar, has cane. I wish I could ID the maker, but so far I have not. Quality is impeccable. Triple diamond cut handles. All three of the handle attachments are in perfect condition. Probably one of the nicest three handle loving cups you'll ever see. And it's large. I think it's about nine, nine and a half inches tall. The loving cup is $26.95. Another always desirable pattern is Alhambra by Meriden. Tall pitcher. Uh, has the dental edge on top. Greek key at the top and the bottom, and the fine diamond-like cutting in the geometric portion. Hobstar cut base. Um, the picture is 2,500. And this is one of the real rarities in cut glass. I probably should stick this in my personal collection, but I'm going to offer it out one time. Um, it's a very rare cutting design. Signed hawks. It's shown exactly in Jane Spillman's American Cut Glass Industry, T.G. Hawks and his competitors. It's not a production pattern. It was specially made. This may be the only one there is. I'm not certain. Deep triple miter cutting. Really studded out as you can see by the, cut, the depth of the cutting. Very fine cane. Everything about this is nothing but the best. Best metal blank, deep cutting, superb polish, very ornate. It's hard to describe. This is something you have to look at in person to see and appreciate. It is 5,500. It's a two part fruit bowl. It's cut in star and diamond by Clark. Very early pattern, probably 1892, 1893-ish deep block cutting and it's cross hatched and starred very fine hop star center three footed separate base and that is $8.95 I think the plug had been polished there's a little bit of play in it but it otherwise looks to be in perfect condition very nice two part piece Here's a monumental 20 inch tall vase with a great sterling top. The sterling is Fradley and it's marked. The sterling's in excellent condition, no dings or dents. Great grape or vintage repoussé. Um, nicely cut. And again, this is a monster at 20 inches. It was probably a special order item. It's 7,500. Rare to find is a large tray in festoon by Hawks. Usually they're seven inch plates or eight inch bowls. This blank is incredibly heavy. I don't know what this weighs, maybe five pounds, six pounds. Great detailed hop stars, large hop star gallery around the rim, 13 inches in diameter. It's signed and it is $32.95. And there's our photo of the Hawks factory on Market Street in Corning, New York. It is still there and it's kind of fun to see that every time I go to Corning. It's a great thumbprint design. Cranberry cuts a clear decanter, wine decanter set. It has a pattern matching colored stopper. Four matching stems. Really pretty color. And it has the hourglass shape with the teardrop in the center of the stems. It sets a nice bargain at only $11.95 for all. Here's a great centerpiece bowl. It's a signed hawks. It's four fruits. Strawberries, pears, peaches, and I think cherries was the other one. Signed sterling. Um, it is 12 inches in diameter. And $14.95, that's a nice buy for a four fruits piece with sterling. 
There's a magnificent, very rare size, 10 inch block pattern rose bowl. Very, very deep cutting on an excellent quality blank. The butt squared blocks are starred, cross hatched, and quarter diamond cutting. The center is a star, and again, this size is very rare. It's $39.50. Very impressive in person. It's a really nice cobalt cut to clear um, pyramid decanter. It's very tall at 18 inches in height, and it is by Val St. Lambert. Nice rich color. Uh, probably a replacement stopper. I'm not 100% certain. But a nice bargain for cobalt at only $275. Here's a um, mayonnaise or finger bowl set cut in flutes by Hawks, shown in their catalog. Incredibly clear, brilliant blanks. Starburst center. Um, it's only $65 for the set, and I think I have two of those. Here's a piece that I have in my collection, the uh, Propeller Pattern Bowling Pin Decanter. It is $24.95. This thing is cut to pieces. Beautiful stopper. Great cutting from top to bottom. There's not a clear uncut space on it. It's probably 15 inches tall. I really like that. Uh, this came with a cut glass collection. People often like the uh, Monroe Wave Crest. This is a four footed jewelry box. It's about seven and three quarters, seven, seven eighths diameter. Beautiful multicolored decorative painting and enameling. Um, brass fixtures. The cloth deteriorated over the course of a hundred years, of course, which is typical. And the box is only $3.95. There's a salad set signed Meriden, 11 and a half inches long, very heavily cut. Um, plate, silver plate, of course, and it is only $2.35. Heavyweight, nicely cut lail, 15 inches long, double bowl. It's in the Sunburst Pattern by C.F. Monroe. It's shown on page 18 of their 1906-07 catalog. And the big ladle would go in a 15-inch or 14-inch punch bowl. It's $4.95. Another large double bowl ladle. This one's also marked um, C.F. Monroe. And it is also 15 inches long and it is $5.95. Again, that would go in a 14 or 15 inch punch bowl. And that will conclude part two. Stay tuned for part three.